When I took this physics class in high school, I had a really hard time solving the problems with inclined planes, especially inclined plane problems that dealt with friction. Then one day, all of a sudden, I was finally able to visualize something that really helped. And in reality, that made these problems no harder than other free body problems. The problem I had with the inclined plane questions was that there were so many angles to take into account. Both the force of friction and the normal force were at weird angles, and the only force that wasn't at an angle was the force of gravity. Breaking up all of these into their x and y directions was just way too hard. So instead of fighting with all those angles, I thought, why not just pick a coordinate system where the normal force and the force of friction were the x and y directions? After all, those two forces are perpendicular to each other. It's just like looking at it in terms of rotating the page of the paper as if there wasn't a slope at all. Then comes the question of what angle do we use? Some of you will probably just want to memorize this, and some of you will want to prove this using geometry. I just picture a similar triangle that slips in just like this. After you've done a few of these, you'll be putting in the angle automatically without having to think about it. But if you're confused, you can check out this proof I made right here in this other video. Okay, now use trigonometry to find the parallel and perpendicular components of gravity. Since this block is stationary, the sum of all the forces is zero, or the net force is zero. This means that the horizontal forces will cancel off, and the vertical forces will cancel off to equal zero. Once we have this information, we can solve for whatever we need. Give it a try. Solve for the force of friction if the angle of incline is 30 degrees. If you haven't got the answer yet, you better pause the video, otherwise you'll miss your chance. Too late.